All right, ladies and gentlemen, continuing on with our strawberry. Here we go. So here we're going to add in the stem or the leafy part and of course the chocolate. We can't have a chocolate covered strawberry without chocolate, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is just B to box select all this minus the lamp and hit R, X, and 90 to rotate down the 90 degrees on the x-axis so that our strawberry is facing right side up at least come on now all right selecting the lattice i'm gonna hit tab to go into edit mode shift right click all four of these points right here and then turn off proportional editing as well oh on the keyboard to turn that off and then hitting shift s cursor to selected to place our cursor right there in the middle now to add the leaves of it, pretty simple. Going into top view, let's hit Shift A, add mesh plane, scale it down. And now we're gonna hit tab to go into edit mode and bring it out in edit mode and S and Y to scale it up. And hit G and Z to bring it up above the strawberry. Control R, let's add in three loop cuts by scrolling our mouse wheel up to three or hitting three on your keyboard, <laughs> giving you different options every day of the week, 24 seven. You're welcome. All right, right click to leave it in the center, seven to go into top view, and alt right click this edge loop, S and X to scale it up. Also control R, add a loop cut in the middle. And now let's just go alt right click these, S and X, scale them up, bring this one out a little bit. And then these ones right here, S, X, scale them out and something like that. So it kind of smaller here, rounder, and then smaller there. Cool. Now let's go ahead and let's hit the S key in object mode, scale that puppy up. And now we're going to add a modifier that's really cool. I mean, it's really cool, really, really cool. <laughs> All right. That's enough cool. So the modifier we're going to use is called a uh, solidify modifier. It was so cool. I almost forgot the name. Add modifier. Let's go to solidify, which is over here. And what this does is if you increase the amount right here, it basically gives it thickness without actually having to extrude your mesh and your vertices out. So very simply add some solidity to your mesh. And now hitting control two, let's add a subdivision surface level of two as well and increase the solidify a little bit more. Hitting T, let's smooth this baby out as well. All right, now what we wanna do is go ahead and add in some variety to this. So hitting tab to go into edit mode. Let's select these vertices right here and hit G and Z. We're gonna bring these up. And then shift right click these as well and bring them down. All right. So very cool. Now we got part of the leaf there. I want to hit S A to select everything and then S and X to scale everything down. And then alt right click this vertex or this vertice loop right here. And then S X scale that in a little bit maybe. And then selecting these as well. S, X, and scale those down. All right, cool. Now hitting tab to go into edit mode. A to select everything. Let's hit three to go into side view. Shift D and bring it down. And then on the top view, let's just bring this one R to rotate and rotate it around like so, so that we have another leaf. And of course, let's add some variation to this because we don't want the leaf to be exactly the same. This is your leaf. You can do what you want with your leaf. It doesn't have to be the exact same as mine. This is your leaf and you do what you want. How's that for motivation right there? <laughs> it's my leaf and I can do what I want with it. All right, cool. So there we have it. Now, how do we duplicate this around the rest of the strawberry? Well, very simply with our cursor still at the origin. If it's not hit shift S cursor to selected. Let's hit shift A and let's add in an empty plane axis. Now empties are really cool. They're basically, as the name implies, it's an empty object, meaning you're able to use it to 
transform and manipulate different kinds of objects, but it actually doesn't render in the scene. So selecting our leaf, we're gonna, guess what modifier we're gonna add, ladies and gentlemen? We're actually gonna add an array modifier here. So let's add modifier array, and we're gonna turn off relative offset. We're gonna take a look at this in a different way. So we've tried relative offset. We've also done an array with a curve uh, modifier and a curve object. Here we're gonna use object offset. So this, if you select that and go to empty, so it's completely gone crazy. So what we wanna do for this is basically first go ahead and select this and hit control A and apply the scaling of our leaf. And the reason it's crazy right now is because we scaled this object up and down in object mode. So it could kind of give us some weird, uh, some weird deformations right there. And of course, if you increase the count, you can see it gets even crazier. So control A, basically it applies the scale right here because if we hit the N key, you can see that the scaling of it right now is 0.235, which doesn't work out. We want these to be at one. So if we hit control A, it resets the scale to one with this size right here. Cool. I'm gonna hit N to close that. And now if we select this empty, go into top view by hitting seven on the numpad and then hit R to rotate, you can see it rotates it around. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right. <laughs> Very high pitched voice on that because it was so sweet. Let's increase this to five. And there we have it. Now we have a really cool little uh, leaf portion here. Now it's a little bit thick for a leaf. It actually kind of looks like tentacles. So let's decrease this thickness right here to something like that so that's much more realistic. And then grabbing the empty and the leaf, let's hit G and Z and bring this down to there. All right, cool, cool, cool. So now for the stem, all I'm gonna do is hitting seven on the numpad to go into top view. I'm gonna hit shift eight. I'm gonna add in a mesh cylinder. And now with the cylinder, what we're gonna do is basically hit S to scale it way down and then scale it down even more. G, Z, bring it up, scale it down. And now hitting tab to go into edit mode. Alt right click this vertex right here. And also I want to delete the bottom face. So going over here, control tab, go to face select mode, delete this bottom face, X faces, control tab, vertex select mode, and then hit the E key to extrude, right click and then S to scale it up like so. And then control two to add a subsurf modifier level of two. All right, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is hit tab to go into edit mode. Let's hit control R, add a loop cut in the right there to sharpen that out. And then control tab, face select mode, selecting this face. Let's hit E to extrude, bring it out a little bit like so, and then scale it down. And then control R, add a loop cut there as well. T, bring up this option, this toolbar, and smooth it out. And then to get rid of these ugly lines right here, tab to go into edit mode, control tab, face select mode, let's select this center face, E to extrude, and just scale it in a bit. All right, cool, now I'm just gonna select all of these by C, with the C key to bring up the brush tool, W, and smooth that out. All right, there we go. We have the little top of our strawberry right there. And these leaves are a little bit uh, separated too much. So hitting tab to go into edit mode. Let's select one of these faces, control L and then G and Z. And let's bring it so that it's more intersecting with the other one. Control tab, vertex, select these G and Z and bring them down and these ones as well, G and Z and bring them down. And then of course, bring this guy back down underneath the strawberry leaves. All right, cool. All right, so now we are going to add the chocolate or the chocolat in French. So the chocolat is the best part. Now hitting one to go into front view. Um, before we do that, however, I actually, I'm gonna select the leaves and hit S to scale and, and the empty and hit S to scale them up a bit. 
and G and Z bring them down. Want them a little bit bigger. All right, that's better. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead, select our strawberry, hit Shift S, cursor to selected. Let's go ahead and add the chocolat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you say chocolate in French. That's uh, another lesson on top of Blender. Shift A, let's add in a mesh UV sphere. I'm gonna teach you guys Blender and French at the same time. Who else can do that for you? I don't know, I don't think anyone else. All right, five to go into orthographic view. Tab to go into edit mode, Z to go into wireframe, and let's B to box select half of the sphere, minus that one, X and delete the vertices. Cool. Hitting tab to go back into object mode, and actually, never mind, we're gonna go back into edit mode. Select this little vertex right here, this little lonely guy right there. Can't get him. There we go, that guy right there, right in the center. I'm gonna hit five to turn off orthographic view as well. And now, turning on proportional editing once more, I'm gonna hit G and Z and bring this down like so. I wanted to refrain from saying that, but you know, whatever. Now I'm gonna bring this up in object mode and scale it up. I want it kind of like halfway up the strawberry. So just bringing it up and scaling it up. I want it about right here. Cool. Now I'm gonna hit T, bring up this toolbox, or the, the transform toolbox uh, shelf right here. Hit smooth to smooth that out. And then hit tab to go into edit mode. Alt right click this vertex loop. E to extrude, scale it in. And let's turn off proportional editing with the O key. Scale it in so that our chocolate has some ridge to it or some thickness. And then control two, add a subsurf level of two. And there you have it. There is your chocolat, my friends. I was gonna say my ladies and gentlemen. Nope, there's the chocolat. Very, very nice. And now also what we could do is hit tab to go into edit mode. Alt, right click both of these edge loops and hit the S key. Scale them in like so. And then alt right click this, turn on the proportional editing, O, and scale them up. And just scale it a little bit so that the top isn't so, you know, it's not so straight like that, unless that's what you want. But I kind of like it when it's kind of jittery right here, because it kind of looks like the chocolate is, uh, you know, it's not perfectly even and straight. It looks like it was kind of dipped and it, it might have uh, dripped a little bit and it's, it's not perfect, all right? So it looks better. <laughs> all right, cool. So there we go. We modeled the leaf part of it and the chocolat part of it and the little, little stem right there. So uh, last thing I'm going to do before we end this part of the tutorial, I'm going to select everything. So B, box select all these. Make sure you don't have the lamp or anything else selected. Shift right click the chocolat part of it. And then I'm going to hit Control P and parent it to the object. So now if we just grab the chocolate it's and scale it or whatever we move the chocolate, it moves the rest of the strawberry. Pretty cool. All right, very well done ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial where we're gonna be finishing texturing this, adding the materials to the chocolate, and then maybe adding in a very, very simple kind of scene for the rest of this to bring it to a completion. All right, see you there. Au revoir. And then we can eat our strawberry, of course. All right, make sure to save your file. See you in the next one. And once again, link below for the course. Check it out. You're going to love it. So Ultimate Blender Guide. If you want to learn Blender, click the link below. Ciao for now. Au revoir.